Talk about metal music and how metal music was meant so much to me personally growing up, man. So like uh, a lot of people come to me and they say, hey, yo, what about this new reggae band or this new reggae band? And I'm like, yo, bro, man, my favorite reggae band is Iron Maiden. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like uh, I rarely actually listen to reggae, but uh, the message of Bob Marley, the message of Peter Tosh, you know, that's what spoke to me. But getting back to metal, I'm kind of wanting to invite Sage up, man. So we recorded a metal to, yeah. I just got a snow cone. Are you cool with that? You can do it with your snow cone? Hell yeah, man. She's talented. <laughs> Here we go. So we just recorded a new tune. We just recorded a new tune. Uh, Check one, two. It's a tune called Genocide. It's a song that was inspired by my godfather who pointed out that by the city of Flagstaff, the state government of Arizona, and the United States government taking a position that Hopi has no right to the waters of the Little Colorado River because it doesn't lie within the reservation boundaries that they drew around us. You know what I'm saying? We live in the oldest continuously inhabited communities in all of North America. All of the Pueblo people do because of the Pueblo Revolt of 1680. We live, we've never been relocated. We live in the very same places that we were at time of contact, you know. But I think everybody of Native America relates to this struggle, you know, this struggle to keep our identity, this struggle to maintain the health of our children, the health of our people, in the midst of so many check one, odds two, being check stacked check. against us. <laughs> the point that my godfather was trying to make is like, yo, it's a modern day genocide, what they're doing to Hopi because they're really check making one, us two. die of thirst by denying that water to us, you know? So that people in the big cities, you know, can have what they need. 